your step is back. Now from here, we're going to take a bend in both knees as you push yourself back. Then come right back in to your leg. So let's do a total of 12 and then hold for 10. We get this is 12 and 11 and 10 and 9 and 8, 7, 6, 5, and 4, and 3, and 2. One more time. You're going to hold your plank. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 
to take form cells. Ready? And go. Take that right through the right tricep and then shoot it up for two. So we're not dropping the leg. We are keeping it off the floor. Awesome job. Two more. Two. And one. Okay, other leg. Here we go. Left tricep. Shoot up. Crunch to the side. Shoot up. For three. And four. And five. Last time. Good. Hold here. I'll keep taking four and balance. This is ten. And nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Woo! Way to go. Awesome, guys. I'm so, so sweaty now. You can sweat here? Yeah. Okay, good. So back to our high plank. Palms back to the floor. And then step it back. Now, we're just going to pet the hips and take that right leg into a high extension. So keep your hips square. Here we go. Right leg for six. Down to the floor. Good. And five. And four. Three more. Three. And two. One more time. Good. Let's go ahead and switch to our left leg. Here we go. It's a lift. And a tap. High extension. Come back to plank. For three. Try to stay in control. Four. And breathe five. Last one. Six. Holding this high plank. Here we go. This is ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Nice job. We're going to pull down. Yes. Hands on your plank. You're always welcome to take them. Back to our forearm plank. Elbows to mat. Now, palms together. Feet together behind you. So step it back. Keep those feet together. You're going to go ahead and take a little bend in the knees as you push the shoulders nice and long. Come back to your plank. Good. Total 12. And 10. Which is a big hand count today. I always skip that number. 10. And 9. And 8. And 7. And 6. And 5. And 4. And 3. And two, one more time. Hold here. Option to take your plank or four bounce. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on down. Yes, we have made it to our last plank. High plank. We're going to push up. So you can do this on your knees if you need to, or just stay in high plank. So back to your palms. You're going to take yourselves into like a little jumping jack. So you're just going to jump it out, come back in, take the push-up, come back up, okay? So it's a total of eight, and then hold your plank for another ten counts. Option to take the hands down. Ready? And begin. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One more time. Oh, nice job. Hold here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Way to go. Yes, you guys, stretch it out. Stretch those arms out. You're doing awesome. Okay? I know, right? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take ourselves back into a high 10 feet. So go ahead and pull yourselves up. Burpees and then hip thrust. So, stand on up. You can use weights here if you want to. If not, just go ahead and do it that. Now again, burpees, do with weight. You like it. <laughs> I have these little weighted balls here. So, again, you can take a push-up or just go ahead and step back or jump it back. And 20, set for 20 seconds and then hip thrust for another 20. Ready? And begin. Breathe, you guys, you got this. It's 10, and 9, and 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Yes, you guys, to the floor. Go ahead and take a hold of your wrists if you have them. Roll your 
Just lift those hips up and down. This is 10. And nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Yes, drop those weights off to the side. Give yourself a little hug. So we're going to go ahead and come back to our ball step or the core step, okay? So again, if you have this little stability ball at home, I will use this this time. This is going to stay on her back with her hands behind the head lifting the head and shoulders off the floor for this next set, okay? So go ahead and grab a little bit of this little bit ball if you have one, and roll it down. Now, push your hips up if you have it. Make sure it's underneath your sacrum. It just creates a little instability here. Palms to the floor. Here we go. Legs lift. Now, keeping that core nice and stable, keep that pelvis nice and centered, and let's go ahead and put those toes lower down. Now, the legs the feet up. Now the whole time, you're really concentrating on keeping this nice and still. So keep your rib cage in, keep your pelvis neutral, and just work. Awesome, we got five more. Five, and four, and three, and two. One more time. Go ahead and point those toes up. Hold this right here. Go ahead and pull this into an external rotation. If you want your feet quite still, and we're going to take a bend in the knees. So knees come to a bend. Now push your legs out. You want to go away from your body and not um, up to the ceiling. So try to go away from the body as best as you possibly can to really fire up through the core as well as those inner and outer thighs. Nice job. Let's we'll see three more. Three and two. Now do one more. Six and five. 
our reverse crunches now. So it's a reverse crunch lift, switch the flat your palms to the floor, lift the legs to the ceiling. Now cross your right leg over your left. It's because you're going to take that into reverse crunch and then come down halfway, switch the legs. Ready? Begin. This is eight. Nice. Switch the legs. Seven. Round and switch the legs. Six. Now we're going to take this left palm to the knees and bend the knees from here. 
Now, go ahead and tuck the toes underneath. Use a corner of the toe for now. Press the palms to the floor. You're going to come up into a lift. So you're going to basically come to the bottom of your push-up. Now, I'll demonstrate for you real quick. You're going to press into the mat. Scoop your belly. And then lift up those legs. So you're at the very bottom. Three, two, and one. Come down. Okay, lift on up. Point those toes. Lift the chest. Lift the legs. Exhale, come down, tuck the toes. Here we go. Press it off the floor. Three, two, and one. Come down here. Good, Lisa. Here we go. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tuck the toes. Press your palms back to the floor. Lift up an inch off your mat. Three, two, one. Come down. You need two more. Here we go. Inhale.
sweep lightly. Otherwise, you can stay here the entire time. Okay, pull that left leg up off the floor. Point the toe. Small circles. Oh, by the way, also comes off the mat. Here we go. Small circles for 10. And nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now circle backwards. 10. And nine. And eight. Seven. Six. Five. We're mindfully working here. Three. And two. And one. Hold this here. Now flex that left foot here. And we're going to take the left knee into the chest. So just come on in and then press it out like you're stepping in lots of mud. Good. This is three. Try to keep that leg. Hip height. Four. And five. Nice and controlled. Six. Try to keep that upper body nice and long. Good. Eight. And nine. Last time. Hold here for ten. Now pulse it. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, you guys. Okay, so from here, go ahead and drop your left leg. Can you do it here? Can you do it on the other side? Okay, that's it. We're done. Go ahead and take that left uh, right forearm down to the floor. Okay, so now we're going to feel on our right palm and right knee. So if you have a little the ball, or something you have to ball, a little weight or a prop that you can place behind the left knee, you can go ahead and do that. So go ahead and press your right palm. Make sure your fingers are facing the top of the mat or the back of the mat here. And then the right heel comes down underneath your head. So be careful here. You don't want to start stabbing in your shoulder. You want to stay nice and open. You will feel the stability here on this right side as we work our left foot here. So go ahead and pull your left knee into a bend. If you have a prop, then grab that prop here and flex that foot. Now left hand can stay at the hip or behind the head. I'll keep it here at my head. Okay, so pull that left knee in to the body. Now bring it back behind the body without moving the rib cage here. Good. Two. This is really mindful here. Three. Four. Flex that foot. Five. Doing good, you guys. Six. And seven. Breathe it. Eight. And nine. Okay, your last one. You're going to pull that left knee all the way forward to the side. So like a side by your head, you're going to drop the knee down, pull it up. So you want to go below the hip and then above the hip. Good. This is three. And four. And five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. Hold it right here. And then repeat. So all the way around. Pull 360 all the way. Good. So get that full range here as you try to stabilize 
arms, you can feel nice and tall here. And then go ahead and just pull yourselves as close as you can. So you feel a nice gentle stretch. Flex that foot and really breathe here. You feel that? Oh yeah. <laughs> so just keep opening up here. One more breath. All right, go ahead and release your last stretch here. Go ahead and pull your legs forward. And we're just going to take a forward fold together. Forward folds are always so good for you. Really beneficial here. So go ahead and stretch your arms as far as you can. Lift up nice and tall. And let's go ahead and hinge forward. Reach as far as you possibly can. So that could be to the angle of your toes. Maybe be on the feet here. And just breathe. Try to bring the spine nice and long. You should feel this all the way through your hands. Reach to the calf. Flex the feet so you can feel this all the way through heel to hip. Lengthen it out. And you guys are done. You are welcome to keep stretching beyond this time. You guys, if you haven't seen um, this, if you're like never done this before, good job to you. You can always repeat this as many times as you want or just do segments of what you like for that day or for the time you have. So thank you, Lisa. Say hi to you. Yeah. Okay, so that top one, so, and now, and then there's